If you're trying to play Battlefield 6 or any of the other Battlefield games and you find that when you launch a game you get an issue where it says Secure Boot is not enabled, then don't worry, I'm going to show you the fix. First of all, we need to make sure that Windows is updated and then there are a few other steps. So one of the first things you need to do with Secure Boot is to check whether it's actually enabled. You can do this from Windows before you even go into the BIOS. So the first way to do this is to press the Windows Start button and then search for System Information, which you'll see here. Under the system information, you'll see there's a system summary. We're looking for two important things here. We want to see if secure boot is set to on, which it is in this instance, but it might well be off if you're searching for this problem. You also want to check what the BIOS mode is because it needs to be UEFI. It needs to be that and not legacy. Now, you might find there's three different states for secure boot. It'll either be on, off or unsupported. If it's unsupported, you might need to update your BIOS or refer to the manufacturer's website, and I'll cover how to update the BIOS a little later in the video. If you're struggling to see any of these things, by the way, there's a search function down the bottom, so you can actually just search for it. Another important part of this is to check that TPM 2.0 is enabled, which it should be on modern motherboards, but if you hit the Windows Start key and then type Run, and then it says open up the Run program, and from there you need to put TPM msc and then just hit enter and then what you should do is you should find it launches this trusted platform module and in here what we're looking for is this tpm is ready for use and that's an important part of it if you see that isn't the case again you might need to update your bios before this step to make sure everything's set up properly and that becomes a little bit more complicated so if TPM is enabled and your BIOS is set to UEFI, then I'm going to show you how to go into the BIOS and quickly turn on Secure Boot. I'm going to show you a couple of other things later on that include what to do if it is in legacy mode. We're going to go into the BIOS, but don't worry because it's really easy. It's only a single setting that we need to change, so there's no need to panic. Mash Delete on your keyboard while your PC is restarting, you'll find yourself in the BIOS. Now in a lot of modern BIOSes, you'll find that there's the option to just search for the BIOS. So in this MSI BIOS, for example, you can click at the top right here, and then we can just search what we want for. So if we type into Secure Boot, then you'll there find the option there to just turn it on. So you can see it's currently disabled. All you have to do then is click on it and set it to Enabled, and then save and exit from the BIOS. But if you find that you haven't got a search functionality, if you go to the Settings section, Generally speaking, it will be under the boot settings and you'll find secure boot in here. On this MSI motherboard, however, for some reason, it's actually under a separate menu, which is under the security section. So it's either boot or security. And down the bottom here, you'll see there's secure boot listed as an option here. And again, it's set to disabled. So what we need to do is to set this to enabled. And then we just need to save and exit from the BIOS, restart with those changes applied, and you should find that will then fix your issue. Now, there might be some other things, so we'll get to those in a second. And if you're finding that this isn't appearing, I'll also show you another fix that will help with that in a minute, so stick with me for that. But you can see what we need to do is to save changes and reboot, and you'll see that it's noted that it's now set to enabled. In a Gigabyte BIOS, a similar sort of logic as you can see here. In the top right, there's the option to search, but if we go into the advanced settings and then into the boot section, and then scroll down right to the bottom of that, you'll see that there's a secure boot section here, and from there, you can set it to just simply be enabled. You don't need to worry about the other settings, like the custom settings or the advanced settings. Just set it to enabled, save and reset, goes back into Windows, try and launch Battlefield or the other game that requires secure boot that is causing you problems. And you should find that hopefully you'll then be able to launch it without any issues. If it's still not working, it could be that if you're getting the same error message that we still need to change a couple of other settings. So stick with me to see what those are. We're going to start by checking the BIOS to make sure we're in UEFI mode and changing that if not. So go on the start menu, click restart, and then while that's happening, press delete on your keyboard until it launches into the BIOS. When you're into the BIOS, hopefully you want to see a few of the different things here that are important. You can see at the top here it says BIOS mode, and you want to make sure it's UEFI. So hopefully you'll see that when you boot in. It'll either say UEFI BIOS in it somewhere, or it'll have it written here, for example. The other important thing is you'll see down the bottom here, it says TPM 2.0, that's enabled as well, so you can see that's turned on. Watch out for easy settings like that. You might alternatively have to go to the advanced section, and this is going to vary from motherboard to motherboard, so watch out. You might need to refer to the motherboard's website and manual for it. But if we go to the advanced section, and then settings, and then under the advanced settings here, 
you'll see there's a BIOS mode. So you can see it's set to UEFI. If it's set to CSM or legacy or anything other than UEFI, you want to make sure you switch it into that. So we've now got that setting on. So the three important things here are UEFI. We also need to make sure that TPM is turned on and that secure boot is on as I already showed you. So that is under the settings, boot or security section, depending on your motherboard setup. So you'll see here, we've got a secure boot option and it's set to enabled. So make sure that's on enabled. And you can see if we go into the trusted computing section that we've got TPM 2.0 in here as well. So you can make sure that's turned on at this point too. And then you just need to save and restart. Another important step is to make sure that Windows is either in MBR or GPT. We need it to be in a certain format in order to work properly. To find this out, what we want to do is hit the start menu and search for disk management. You'll find this under create and format hard disk partitions. Click that and you'll see that it opens up the disk management tool. Now what you're looking for is obviously the C, which is your Windows drive which you can see is actually listed as disk five for me. But if you've only got one disk, then it will easily be right at the top and easy to find. On the bit that's marked for the disk here, you want to right click, and that's the important part, and click on properties. From there, you'll then find yourself in the volume section. And in there, you want to click on that. And what you're looking for is to see if it says GUID partition table because that is actually what we're looking for. If it says MBR, then there's a slightly different step here because we need to make some changes. If your Windows volume is set to MBR, we need to make some changes in Windows to adjust it. This is only if it's MBR, so don't follow this step if your Windows volume is set to GPT. So what you need to do here is to hit the Windows Start button and type Run. From here, we then need to type in PowerShell and then hit Control Shift and Enter as you do it which will then launch it in administrative mode. So this is administrative com command prompt rather than just your standard one. Then what you want to do is to type this out. So you've got to type out mbr2gpt slash validate slash disk zero slash allow full OS and then hit enter. And this should then find the disk that you want. In my case, it's disk 5, it's worth noting. So this is from the disk that you actually found in your Windows disk management. So if you've got one disk as your main operating drive and there's no others, then it'll probably be disk 0. But in my case, it'd actually be disk 5. And then allow full OS. I'll leave this text in the description so you can copy it to make life easier if you'd like. And then what you want to do is to then hit enter and it will run this command. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to change mine because it's set to the right thing already. But if yours is MBR, they should help change it to the right mode. Hopefully now you can play the game, but you might need to update your graphics drivers as well first. If for whatever reason you find that you can't access secure boot settings in your BIOS, it might be because you need the latest BIOS version or a newer version. So if you download CPU-Z, that will show you what your system settings are if you don't know already. You go in the main board section here, you can see that I've got an MSI MPG Z790 Edge Ti Max Wi-Fi. If we search for that and then head over to the website, Go to the support pages and you can then see the BIOS listed here and you'll see a number of different versions. In CPU-Z you can see my current version and how it date backs to 2023 which is obviously not ideal because the latest version on the website is actually from the 9th of the 5th 2025 so it's much much newer. So if we download that then what you want to do is to extract it to a clean USB drive. This is the easiest way to do the BIOS updates from what I've found. So get yourself a USB stick, stick it in your PC, delete anything else that's on it off of there already. And then what you want to do is go to the file, extract it onto the USB drive. So we're going to make sure we grab that, go head over to the relevant USB drive that we've got, extract it to the USB drive and then we're ready to install it. Now obviously this is for this MSI motherboard but the logic is basically the same for a lot of different motherboards. So with that USB stick we're then going to restart the PC again. 
So reboot the machine and then mash the delete key while we're waiting for it to restart. And then that will eventually take you into the BIOS. So don't forget, keep tapping that delete key. Eventually you'll end up in here. If you click on M flash or similar tools and other BIOSes that take you to the utility to update your BIOS, you can then find the relevant file and start to install it. Now this process should be pretty straightforward, but it does take some time. So you need to be patient with it and wait for it to go through the process. Eventually it'll reboot. Your PC might restart a few times on its own in the middle of doing that. Don't panic, just let it happen. Once you get there, make sure you've also downloaded the ME firmware that you also get from that BIOS. You want to download and install that to make sure that's installed and updated as well. And that combination should then hopefully allow you to activate secure boot in the BIOS and then happily be able to play. So hopefully it was an easy fix for you. You might want to update your BIOS. There are other reasons to do it. It does help with stability and other things. So it does improve your system in other ways. But hopefully this has helped. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching.